Hi beauties, so today I'm going to be showing you a product that you may have seen on Facebook or on Instagram or online somewhere. I saw this product and I wanted to give it a try because before I let go of this beast that you're all about to see, then um, I am buying this purchase or I bought this purchase for the hopes that this is going to make my life easier from flat ironing my hair. So if you haven't seen it already, it's called the Fast Hair Straightener and it's this bad boy right here. So this is the first time I'm using it. I have not tried this yet already, so this is going to be interesting. I don't know if it's going to be a pass or fail product, but I'll open it here for you, and this is what comes in the box. And I got the color pink. I believe you can get it in like pink or white or black, but I like the color pink. So it just comes with a long cord. You plug it into the wall, and there's these little side buttons here. It's a plus, minus, and an on button, and it says my makeup brush set. So first looking at it, it is pretty cute and cool. It's very strange if you can see kind of the bristles in it. I don't really know. It's a little heavy, I'm not gonna lie. This is really heavy. <laughs> I think this is probably like two or three pounds. If you're lifting a weight, all right, it's a little workout while I'm going to straighten this beast. It's my naturally dried hair, which, Lord, I haven't done in so long, in many years, actually. Uh, I have naturally curly hair, so let me plug this in, and if you're interested in seeing what this bad boy turns into and hopefully goes straight, then please keep watching. All right guys, so I am back and you should feel very blessed because the fact that I'm sitting here with my hair out like this for you, I must love you. I don't know, I'm going to kind of try it the way I've been watching every girl online do it. So I know I do have a little bit thinner. So it's, it's I'm, I'm pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I've just been seeing, please don't burn my hair off. Oh my gosh. Okay, wow. <laughs> so as of right now, I'm doing this one half by just brushing it through kind of quickly just to see if it's something that is really quick to be done or not. Now, it definitely worked because you can see the difference on how big and frizzy and this is smoother. However, and this could be just for my hair because I do have naturally kinky curly hair and a lot of it. So on the other side, I'm gonna take a little bit smaller sections and just see if maybe that's gonna help me for thicker, fuller hair. For those who have thin hair, I really do think this might work. And I'm just super kinky still right here. You can see how it's not really, it's not really smoothing out every moment of it, but it is shiny and silky. And the top layer as well is just flat. So let's try the other side really quick and I'm gonna do a little bit smaller sections and see if that helps it or doesn't. So keep watching. out that you can't grab more than about an inch thick otherwise you just keep going over it and over it and over it and over it again so definitely if you have thick hair like me you would want to only use one in sections now you can see the difference this side's still a little bit bigger now for some reason the top right at the root and crown area of my head the, or about an inch and a half off of my scalp is a little bit more difficult to get to. I know that a straightener would get really close to that because that is the kinkiest and hardest place for women who are straightening their hair to really get that flat. Um, even if you want the lift and not super flat you can still get it really smooth by just getting in with that really thin straightener and because this is not super thin you can't really get in there as much so I feel like my roots are still definitely kinky right up on top and just mid midway but overall I do think this product is probably best for those who have finer hair even if you have 
a lot of it, but finer, it may be a little bit easier for you. And again, if maybe you just have a slight wave on your hair, that's great. I, the overall for the price for $30, I'd purchase it because it is fun and it is, you know, it's cute and something different to use, but I don't think I would probably use this every single day because I don't find it any quicker, especially for my type of hair. And the one thing that got really exhausting is because the little clicks here are the off but on and off button and the up and down switch, your thumb when you're holding it actually goes right there and you keep thinking that you turned it off or I actually kept turning it down multiple times so it's actually moving back up to the 230 because I kept clicking it down so it wasn't at that full heat and I keep doing it again so that is the only thing I don't really like and also it was really heavy my arm started to kind of feel like it was getting a little exhausted so Good try, one thumbs up. I won't give it two because it didn't really flatten out my hair the way I love it by a flat iron. So, a little bit of a bummer, but hey, I wanted to give it a try. And for you, again, give it a try if you want. Can't beat the price, and it is cute, and it does work. It brought a lot of shine to my hair. Again, I just, I, I wouldn't leave the house with my hair like this where it's kinky up top. I'd still have to take that flat iron to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little tryout tutorial. And if you've already purchased it and maybe you have a different outcome, then please let me know. Leave comments in the comments section below. Let me know what you thought or if you have any questions about it. And yeah, other than that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my website at EliteMakeupDesigns.com for blogs and stories and pictures and updates of the work that I do on an everyday, day-to-day -day basis. So thank you all so much and I will see you all next time.